Hey, I'm Fight the Flat Earth. Welcome back to the channel that is giving stupidity the same treatment as Bambi's mum. This is day two of a week-long celebration of me getting 5,000 subscribers, which is going to finish up with me getting control of the non-sequitur show for the night on Saturday, where I'll be doing three back-to-back -back debates followed by an after show. Today I've enlisted the help of a knight in shining armour, which is appropriate because the flurf we're talking about thinks dragons did it. Did what, you may ask? Did Flat Earth. He thinks dragons made flat earth. You might want to get your face protection ready here because there's going to be some serious face palming going on. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Fight the flat earth! Fight the flat earth! Fight the flat earth! So, a bit of an intro to Edge Wise because he's not a flat earther you might have heard of. He's not a big flat earther like Jeronism or Mark Sargent or something. And also he's not your typical flurf because he doesn't really have a model or anything. In fact, the reason for him believing in flat earth is, is still unclear at this point. So he, he looks at stuff. Sometimes stuff that he finds online, sometimes photos he takes, sometimes screenshots of Google Earth. And he, um, when he goes, well, that looks like a dragon or... Well, that, 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 that looks like, um, I don't know, a, a giant head or, well, that looks like an omnipresent demon when I put it through this mirroring app and muck about of it for a couple of minutes. And that means flat earth for some reason. Edgewise and me went head to head in a, I'm not going to call it a debate, but anyway, we met on the non sequitur show where he turned up, showed a bunch of stuff that looked like other stuff, claimed dragons and flat earth. So I explained pareidolia to him kind of over and over until Kyle interrupted with this. And edgewise, what does this look like to you? I don't know. Okay. No, you like do know what it looks like. Picture of some close up skin or something. It looks like the face of a possibly biblical figure. Okay. Uh, would you agree with that? Well, I'm it looks like Chewbacca. That that's we'll just see. My it looks like a baby Chewbacca, but it looks like it's a face. It could be. Does it look like Jesus to you at all? It's I, know, I, I mean, if I don't, I would go with Chewbacca. I see a dude with a mullet and a big blue nose. What are you guys trying to do here? Well, we're just showing we? what the parallel effect is. Does it look <laughs> more like Jesus to you now? I don't see shit, man. I, I got well, a corner okay, so there, there, but you see dragons wait, in the wait, Sahara. I then tried to point out the irony of him not being able to see what clearly looks like Jesus in that dog's ass, but being able to see omnipresent demons and dragons in everything else. He didn't like this very much and attempted to rage quit. Because I don't even know how. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first well, fucking then, how... Hang up on me, motherfucker. Stop, I'm done. You don't know how. I'm done. If you, you fucking pay me to go back to your Ed, office Ed, party, you fucking pussy. Ed. Fuck you. Fucking hang up on me. All right, that's it. Gonna, You're making me shut we're off not my hang door. Up. We're, not, we're not gonna hang <laughs> up on you. I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you, you a question. Pussy. This isn't the atheist experience. We're not gonna hang oh, up on you. Oh, Jesus Dude, Christ. No I, can't even, you. I can't even hang up the motherfucking... <laughs> you can't figure out how to hang up yourself? <laughs> He then did a video calling me and the non sequitur show out. It was called FTFE non sequitur show time to man up. Of course, I was intrigued because I don't understand how I needed to man up when he was the one that ran away from the debate. So let's go and look through that video. All right. Fight the flat earth. <laughs> we'll keep this short and sweet. Why do I doubt that it's short and sweet? No, look, it's 10 minutes long. 10 minutes of pareidolia is not short and sweet. I think your case is done based on this image alone. This image alone destroys the whole globe claim. Two things there, bud. One, please stop speaking so slowly. I had this issue with CC yesterday. And two, that image of an Eagle Nexus and mountains and stuff debunks the globe of how? It's dust in space. Dust in space and gas in a vacuum. Yeah, now you're just listing things in space? Yes. Made this? Nope. Okay, this is getting silly. That was like eight seconds of footage and you said about three words? 
if it looks like a bird and must have feathers and a beak, well, there you go. Well, there you go, guys. It looks like a bird, and um, I'm kind of lost from there, to be honest. This is on Google Earth. Yep, and last time I checked, Google Earth used a globe. You really want to debate Flat Earth? <laughs> sure. Shit, that's easy. You want, you want to go over this? Like a real man? Go over what, Edge? Seriously, what? There's nothing here. It's pareidolia. So the rest of the video is literally him just pointing out things that kind of look like other things, even though they don't really, and saying that they do, so that means flat earth. And to be honest, it's it's pointless. So I just, I'll make it a little bit more interesting and here we go. sees things that look like other things and and that means flat for some reason oh my god this is why i needed a uh, a knight in shining armor to come and help me um i mean sir sick was busy so uh let's see what radical's got to say all right another day another silly let's see what we have today <laughs> hey wait a minute you guys are early Huh. Oh well, how's it going everyone? You'll never guess what I have in store today. So, I've been alerted by Fight the Flat Earth to something Flat Earth related, with a neat little twist. But instead of dragging on, I'll let Edgewise here explain it. This is for anyone who thinks I'm not serious. <laughs> Alright, calm down mate. No one is accusing you of anything. Or rather, I am not accusing you of anything. Yet. When I say we live on one giant serpent. Possibly two, but it's one big dragon. So yes, he basically said we live on a dragon. Possibly two. Now if that isn't a neat little twist, I don't know what is. The discoloration, separation line, all this, those indentations, or whatever, they're throughout all the land. That's how the land ended up like this. Uh huh, you guessed it. We're in for some pareidolia fueled silliness. Also, I'm going along on his journey to try my hand at this pareidolia as well. Heck, who knows, I might even out silly him because I am very creative, right? Dragon head. These are the sides of the face, the sides of the head that go over the eye sockets. They're the eyes, they're the outside of the eyes. Huh. Well, that's not really the dragon I see. You know, for someone who actually believes this stuff, you're not doing a good job. Here. Let me help you out. So clearly the upside down Europe is the head, and then going into the Middle East is the top of his head. Scandinavia are obviously his arms, with Denmark being the Dragon Ball. So what gives? Am I better at this than you? I'm guessing it's it's beginner's luck. Looks just like my piece of ammonite that's from Morocco. Well, you know, for something to look just like something, it has to actually look just like something. So what the hell are you talking about? From where this dragon is. What do you mean there's a dragon here? There was obviously a dragon where I said it was. I thought you were going on about that, so what are you doing? And should I even ask this question? He's he's obviously more advanced at this than me, because I, I don't see anything here. And it carries the same characteristics as the land. So the swirly pattern on your piece of ammonite is visible here? Where? Where is it visible? There's nothing here that's swirly. Like, at all. This isn't runoff, this isn't meteor impacts this is evidence of whatever mechanism did this to the land so so basically the mechanisms that form mountains by you know earth's tectonic plates smashing together nah he's not gonna say that if there's one thing i have learned from these people is that they will say something silly when you well actually expect them to say it so go ahead make my day these giant dragons that are on the surface. You bloody punk! Which does not agree with the globe at all. You hear me, people? 
your globe is absolutely debunked with this. This is a dragon. So just because you see dragon patterns on the earth, the earth is not a globe? I've got a hand to you, I love your logic. Or in other words, what the actual fuck are you talking about? Also, I am quite disappointed right now. I, are we just gonna ignore all these faces? Or better yet, because that is of course the basic Pareidolia shit. What's the deal with all these frogs? Or this fluffy fox and bunny? Not to mention this menacing tiger. So going by that logic, the frogs are going to take over the world, while we continue to watch see for signs, while the bunny and the fox uh, try to stop the frogs, and then the tiger looks on and eats the bunny and the fox. Right? You know, it must be embarrassing you're outclassed by an amateur Pareidolia fellow such as myself. Whatever mechanism did this to the land and the, these giant dragons that are on the surface. Yes, because mountains are formed by dragons having a nap on our planet. That's some uh, fancy science you got going there. Also, I'm pretty sure that giant bunny is way more terrifying than your invisible dragons. Which does not agree with the globe at all. You hear me, people? Your globe is absolutely debunked with this. This is a dragon. Uh-huh, but your dragon looks like a frog, a fox, a bunny, and even a kitty. So no. Roger, don't show it to you like I do. Who the fuck is Roger? No, scratch that. I don't care. Alright, these are cross sections. Oh, holy hell, mate. You really suck at this, don't you? But, alright, I'm, I'm gonna play your little game here. I think I see a dragon in here. Right here. Still, why is the globe debunked if you see patterns in land masses? They're all different layers, splayed out, distributed. Actually, this whole section was folded up. And this lines up to over here. Go ahead, check it out yourself. You can see indentations and grooves and slots and knobs and clips that would fit into their adjacent sockets. All right, well, I let you go on for a while there, but seriously, I don't see any patterns. Not the patterns that you see, and I do believe the patterns that I do see are a lot more spiffy than yours. There is a repeating pattern throughout the land. Yes, and that is only the result of us seeing patterns in things. It's what we do. We, we are pattern-seeking creatures, so... And it's this. Gets bigger and smaller. Alright. Huh, yeah, alright. Well, you know, the mere fact that I actually see different patterns than you should be quite a big hint that you're talking nonsense. The only difference is that I accept the nonsense for what it is. Where you see completely unfounded hidden meaning behind it all. Symmetry. I call it irregular symmetry, but this... This is symmetrical. No, and here's why. Okay, Google. What does symmetry mean? This is the definition of symmetry. The quality of being made up of exactly similar parts facing each other or around an axis. Yeah, so there you go. Hey, Google, thanks. You're welcome. Everything is symmetrical. Oh, for fuck's sake, why do I even try? That's why they hide it from us. Either it's a test or... Who, who are they? What do you mean, Roger? Who's Roger? They just like their greedy control bullshit? I don't know. But I'm beyond that. We need to figure this out. And it's like I'm the only one talking about this, so... <laughs> right. Now you sound like one of those commenters. They might even be worse than commenters who say, first. You know, the ones who always think they are the only one who thinks something? I mean, just for reference, I was doing the same thing as you just now. Whatever. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's one hell of a comeback. Also, since we're on the subject of pareidolia, I'm gonna throw in one of my own pareidolia things in here. So the thing is, every time I see the weather forecast for the Netherlands, there's always a small part of Great Britain visible, as you can see here. This is basically the weather chart we have in the Netherlands. Here's the thing, I can't help but see one of the greatest men of the last century basically predicting future technology, such as our smartphone. Here he is, Churchill, working on a smartphone, right? Here goes your world serpent. Okay, people. Huh. Well, now we actually see the same pattern. It's a huge snake head. Although, I'm, I'm guessing you see the huge snake head right there. This is no joke. Unless the good folk at Google have a fucked up sense of humor. Fucking Google. I can search the web for that. What? Wait, no! Google, stop it, you cheeky bugger. Thanks, mate. <laughs> I'll see you later. See you later, alligator. Yeah, no, I don't think that's the case. Alright. This thing... I don't... want to say it's alive and moving. But... It very well could be. Well, technically, uh, those plates are moving, but it's not alive. It's just rocks moving by plate tectonics. What are you doing? What is he doing? Why do I keep asking these questions? You start... Uh. 
goes around and around. Round, round, get around, I get around. Yeah, get around, round, round, I get around. Okay, stop it. You're going to get me in trouble here. <laughs> a flat earth. Because this guy on a globe is just not happening. Might I remind you, you are using Google Earth, which is using a globe model, as indicated by the big ball you're fiddling around? These are islands? These are inhabited islands? Huh? I don't think so. Well, no shit, Sherlock. When looking up the names and the information about these islands, I came across quite a lot of information of them being uninhabitable. Or at the very least, a very harsh environment. With of course a few exceptions of people who do go there, but those are the survival people who like to do that kind of stuff. I don't even understand what kind of point you're trying to make here. Not to mention, you didn't even mention, they kinda look like the teeth of that huge serpent head. Right? You, you really do suck at this pareidolia stuff, don't you? I don't think anybody's ever been to them. I don't think anyone can go to them if they wanted to. Yeah, well, except all the expeditions throughout the history who have discovered the bloody islands and all the documentation around that would back to differ. I don't know what to tell you. Either that thing is dead right there or I don't know. I don't know. If anyone has a idea, shit, I'm all ears. Yes, I'm sure you're all ears. Also, that's the serious thing. What the hell? Oh, there, there goes the intercontinental ballistic facepalm projectile. For some reason, someone else must be debunking this guy as well, and he said something even sillier, if that's even possible. I hope uh, <laughs> the target is prepared. All right, well, edgewise, you are quite a silly man, and I even beat you at your own game. So, you know, welcome to the Order of the Sillies. I hope you enjoy your stay. I kind of wonder who the target is for the intercontinental ballistic baseball projectile, and I need a better name for that. Guess we'll never know. Mm, or maybe we will. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for that, Radical. Everyone, you really should sub to this guy because, well, mainly he's got a sword, and he's not afraid to use it. You know, I was going to end this video here, but I thought... Nah, it's my 5k celebration week. Let's have a look at another one of Edgewise's videos. What's that noise? Ow! Bloody hell. Guess I, uh, I did kind of deserve that. Um, all right, let's have a look at the, the stupid. Wow, it's fresh even. All right, we're gonna take another look at the Eye of the Sahara and the fish being attacked by the dragon. Well, two things straight off edge. First, again, you're using Google Earth, which is a globe, to try and prove the flat Earth. And secondly, Radical's right. You're not very good at this, are you? Because that is quite obviously Pikachu in an oversized tinfoil hat. First, let's take a look at the eye of the Sahara. Is an eye. That is an eye. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yeah, I can't do accents. Sorry, I won't do that again. Anyway, that's not an eye. And the reason I know it's not an eye is because my research consists of more than taking the contents of my mum's medicine cabinets and going on Google Earth. What I found with just a cursory search on Google is that the material you are saying is an eye is actually caused from differential erosion of a material called quartzite. Quartzite has no organic properties of any kind. Look at all the veins. And nerve endings. No, again, wrong, because those veins and nerve endings you were pointing out are not their sedimentary rock. Seriously, you're on Google Earth. You know Google is a thing. And these things right here. There's another one right there. All those tubule-looking things are veins that are going to reconnect. Yes. Look at all this. This is the inside of the eye connected to the flesh, though, of the fish. The fish is upside down. That's being attacked by the dragon. I mean, what? What do you want me to say? Come on. What? I mean, what do you want me to say? Just... <sighs> and since this is the back of the eye... Oh, 
Yeah, well, there's your 30 kilometers. That's where it was still connected. So. So a 30 kilometer eye. Uh, I say that the fish is 300 kilometers long. Uh, I've got so many questions. What did the fish eat? Were there other fish that were that big? Where did all the water go that these massive fish must have swam in, please? The Eye of the Sahara is what they say it is. Oh good, looks like he's uh, come to his senses there at the end. Thanks to Radical and to Brainy Beaver for yesterday. Make sure you guys subscribe to both of them. Come back tomorrow for the Battle of the Nathans as we find out which country's Nathan is dumber. I will be arguing for the UK and Team Skeptic will be arguing for the USA. This has been a great start to the week, but there is so much more to come. Thank you to all my subscribers. And if you're not subscribed already, then please do hit that like button and get the notification bell on so you know as soon as I've got content out. Thank you to all my patrons. You guys are amazing. Remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Oh,